Hello, everybody, and welcome to creatingwebsite.org, where our mission is to teach you how to create a website. I'm going to be making some updates to our website, so I just wanted to uh, walk you through the process on how we're going to do it. This is behind the scenes footage. It's a, uh, what do you call it, exclusive video that we're not going to be editing and all that, but it's just going to be behind the scenes, and you'll be watching us update our website. Okay, so right now, if you go to creatingwebsite.org, I'm going to walk you through it, but once again, this is raw footage, so it's going to be a little lengthy. Not lengthy, but it won't be like a tutorial. It's just going to be raw footage. This is how our website looks right now. What I want to do is I want to create an image slider that's going to have these features on it here, but make the lady walk across and point at each one. The lady we're going to have go across is going to be her, okay? And she's going to go across each web package, and she's going to show up. And then point at each package that you can buy. So let's go see if we can make this happen here. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to go get this image. So I want to go to my dashboard. And we're using Meta Slider Pro and we're using the Vantage theme. Okay, so once again, that's Meta Slider Pro. And we're going to be using the Vantage theme. So what I'm going to do, first of all, is got to go get my image. So let me see if we can do that. And in the meantime, let me log in here and get this coding. I need to get this coding also. Okay, so we're going to go to MetaSlider Pro. And let me see how our image looks. I'm going to take a look at the image. Let me see here. Okay, that's how the image looks now. So, okay, so I need to go to Photoshop and I need to get that image. So I'm going to go to my hard drive and I'm going to go get my image there. So let's see, get that image there. Okay, there it is right there. Okay, that's the image that we want, but that's not the PDF file. So let me go grab the PDF one so I can edit it, which is this one here. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to take out this picture here because we want to use a different one. So we're going to go ahead and do file and I'm going to save it as, uh, let's see, hosting packages with point okay so hosting packages with point all right and then i'll go ahead and save it as a jpeg so we could upload it to our meta slider so let me go ahead and save that let me put it in the right file on my hard drive so i don't know where it's at and we're going to title it hosting packages with point okay so now i need to go to the website where i want to host this and let's see, that's going to be creatingwebsite.org, which is here. So I want to, I'm going to create a new slider. Once again, I'm using Meta Slider Pro. You can see it right there. If you don't have it, just go to imagesliderforme.com and you could get Meta Slider Pro. It's like 19 bucks. Awesome slider. Recommend it. Okay, so I'm going to start a new slider. And we're going to call this one the point. Okay, since we have someone pointing at our different, uh, different, uh, what do you call it? Um, packages so we'll just name it the point okay so we'll know what we're talking about the point all right so then we're going to add a slide in order to add the slide i'm going to click add slide make sure it's a layer slide i'm going to go to upload files select file and i'm going to go to the picture that we just uploaded so let's go where i think it says the point where is it at where is it at where is it at do 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 point let's see where c i don't see it here let me see, I think we put it home page. Did I put it on the wrong one? Let's see, home page, the point. Okay, no. So let's go back to home page slider, web hosting, hosting, web hosting large. What's hoping? Okay, I don't see the file. So let me go ahead and save it again. So I'm going to go to save as. Okay, and then home page slider, hosting packages with point. So make it sure it's there. It has to. I think I missed it. Let's see. Hosting. Oh, there it is. Hosting packages with point. Okay. So let's go ahead and upload that. And I, might, I grabbed the JPEG one so we could put it into our meta slider. Okay. All right. And then we're going to click add to slider once it's uploaded. Okay. So it's went ahead and uploaded. So now we're going to launch layer editor. 
Okay, so this is what we have now. So what I want to do is I want to go over here and I want to grab this code because I don't want to have to redo all these. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you could grab the code from a slider that you've previously made so you don't have to redo everything. So, uh oh, let me see. I clicked the wrong thing. Okay, this is behind the scenes. So like I said, it's raw footage. So here we go. All right, so let me see. Launch layer editor. Okay. So I want to grab this coding, so I'm going to close that and go to where it says Edit Source. And I'm going to click it, I'm going to hit Control A, and then Control C. And that's going to copy all that code for me. Then I'm going to come over here, and I'm going to close this, and I'm going to go to Edit Source, and I'm going to paste that source here. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to Launch Layer Slider. Now all of our packages are there. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to move this over here because we don't have the the other lady there. So I'm going to take that out and I need to create a, let me see, I'm going to make this box white so it matches all the other ones. In order to do that, to come over here, make it white. Okay. Okay, so once we make that white, I need to make my letters black so you can see them. So I'm going to go over here and select the color black. Let's see. Let me see. Let me make, make it black. Where's the black? Okay, that should be the black there. Okay, and then let's make that black. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to create a gray box. So I'm going to go to new layer. Come on over here, create that box, and I'm going to slide it down. And then come over here like that, line up the box. Okay, and then we wanna let's see here 375. So I'm gonna put that box there. All right, that's good enough. Just a quick tutorial for you. We could fix it all up later. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this or delete that. And then our first package is going to be called, I think it's the basic package. Let's just call it basic. Okay. And then what we'll do is we'll make it bigger. To go over here, we're going to bold it, center it, make the font to Homa. So let's go ahead and click the font. We're going to make that to Homa. And let's make it maybe 38. Let's see if that's good. That looks good. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and save. And now we got to put the price. The price is 375. So we're going to come down here and we're going to write type $3.75. Okay. And that's going to be a month. And let's just make this um, orange. We'll make that orange. Okay. Let's see here. Where's orange? Go to font, make it orange. Okay, so now let's make it a little bit bigger to kind of match the other ones. So let's make it 42. Uh, still a little bit bigger. So let's go up to 40, maybe 48. Okay, and let's bring it up and slide it down a little bit like that. Okay, so now the next challenge that we have is we want to get our image of our lady. Okay, so now the image we want to get, make a slide across, is here. So we're going to save that as a JPEG. Okay, and we're going to put that on home page slider in our hard drive so we'll know where it's at. And then we're going to go back to our, let's make sure we saved everything. Then I'm going to go back to my dashboard. I'm going to go to media. And I'm going to put add new select file and lady pointing finger up okay now once she's there once she's added on wait till it uploads there she goes now let's go back to our meta slider pro okay and then we want to launch layer editor and we want to add an image so see right here insert image from media library and you want to grab that picture there you want to put add to slider okay so oops i put it in the wrong one so let me redo that i need to create a new layer first then you want to add a picture so make sure you always create a new layer so it'll be added to a layer that you already have on your slider 
Okay, so let's go ahead and grab that. There's our picture there. Okay, so we're going to make the background transparent. So let's slide that to the left. Boom. And then let's make her a little smaller. Let's take out the typing. Okay. And then we want to slide the image down. Slide the image down here. So we want her to point there at that. So now what we want to do is we want her to come. We're going to put some effects on her. And what we want to do is at point or one second, we're going to say one second, want her to fade in left. And then and we're going to wait one second and fade out right. Okay, so let's see, fade out right. Okay, let's hit save. And let's preview and see what we have so far. So we're going to hit close and we're going to hit save and preview. So hopefully she'll fade in, point, and then fade out. So let's see. That's the goal. Let's see what happens. Yeah, faded in. Okay, she faded in, but she kept moving. Let me see. Might want her to pause a little bit. So we might have to say after two seconds, then fade out. So let's go back here. Click on the picture. And let's say after two seconds, we want her to fade out right. So let's save it. Then we're going to uh, go to close. And then we're going to save and preview. Let's see what happens here. Okay, there she goes, then she fades out. Okay, good. So now we want to point at all three of them. So then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this. Let's see here. Let's, how do I close this thing? Where are we at here? Okay, close it there. We're going to go back, and we're going to get this same image here. Let's see if I could copy it. So I'm going to hit Control-C, New Layer. And let me see if I could paste it. I think it worked. Let me see. Okay, great. I was able to paste the image. Okay, good. So I'm going to make this background transparent. Okay, and then I'm going to slide this image down and make her point at this price. Let's make her a little bit bigger. Okay, just to add a little special effects or whatever. Okay, so then she's going to point there. Okay, now since this one fades out after two seconds, so, and the total is three seconds. Let me show you what I'm saying. We wait one second, then it fades after two. So that's a total of three. So you want this picture to come in at three seconds. Okay. Because you don't want it to overlap the other picture. So you're going to make this one three seconds. And you want it to fade in right. Okay. And then we're going to wait two seconds. And we're going to fade. Our, I'm sorry, it should have faded in left. So let me make this one fade out right. And then go back over here. Oh, no, that's right. Fade in right, fade out right. Okay, so that's good. And then we save. Okay, so let's get the same picture. Copy. Create new layer. And we're going to paste. All right. If you can't see your picture, just hit your up arrow, and it'll give you a little thing where you can slide it right here, just in case. It took me a while to figure that out. Okay, and we're going to hit make the background transparent, and we're going to slide down our image here. Okay. So now she's pointing at all three different uh, hosting packages. Okay. Let's put that over there. Let's slide this one over a little bit also. I like how it's actually going over the, the picture like that. Kind of like that. Right there. Like that's decent. Okay. That's good. And that's good. So here, now we got one second on this one. We got uh, three seconds on this one. So let's start this one at five seconds because you got one and two, which is three, then three and two, which is five. So you want this one to start after five seconds. So let's go ahead and go over here, click on the picture, and say after five seconds, want it to fade in right. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit fade in right, and then wait two seconds. So that'll wait two seconds, and then fade out right. Fade out right. Where is that at? Fade out right. Okay. And let's hit save. So now let's see what we got. Let's go ahead and close it. Let's save and preview. And hopefully she'll be sliding and pointing at each different web hosting package. Let's see if it works. Okay. Boom. Boom. Basic package. Boom. Deluxe package. Boom. Ultimate package. Nice. But what I notice is that 
<laughs> it fades out right instead of fading. Because this one on the first over here, let me show you what I mean. This one here is fading out from the left. These are fading in from the right. I knew we did something different. See, fade in left. So let's fade her in left. Let's keep it uniform. So fade in left. And then we're going to hit save. And then we're going to fade this one in left. Also, that way everything is in uniform. You know what I mean? Okay, okay, let's see. So fade in left. It's going to be uniform and then fade out right. Okay, so good. So now everything should be fade in left, fade out right. Let's save it. And you can do whatever effects you want. I mean, there's so many different effects. You know, I just like doing things uniform, uniformly. But whatever you want to do, it'll work. Okay, so let's save and preview. And let's see what we got. So she should fade in, boom, here, boom, basic package. Fade out, deluxe package. Fade out ultimate package and then she fades out all right so that's how you do it uh, let's see how it looks on the actual site so let's go ahead and load up this this uh, plug-in or not the plug-in but the slider so we're gonna save it and then we're gonna load the point slider on our home page so right now when you go to creating website home page it's what's gonna show up I'm gonna show you what's gonna show up now but we're gonna change the slider okay right now it's this boom that's what's happening Boom, that happens like that. Boom, that happens like that. And that happens like that. And then we have that happening. So we're going to go ahead and change this slider and make this one appear that we just made. So let's go to Appearance, Theme Settings. And you could do all this with the Vantage theme in MetaSlider Pro. And we're going to go to our slider that we picked. And I think we called it the pointer. The point. There we go. So let's go ahead and save that. Save Settings. Let's, once it's done uploading, we'll refresh our home page and let's see how it will actually look on the website of creatingwebsite.org. So when you type in creatingwebsite.org, go to the web page, our actual new slider should come up. Let's see what we got. There it is. Boom. She points there. Boom. She points there. Boom. And she points there. There you have it. Thanks for stopping by creatingwebsite.org. Please, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. This is where we teach you how to create your own website. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.